Hey guys, welcome back to our online course looking at live streaming and video production graphics. We are using Titler Live 5 today and hopefully you guys are enjoying it so far. Today we're going to take a look at how to open up social media comments and get them directly into your live production. They have some awesome templates that we're going to use, so let's get started. Hey everybody, if you're watching this video on YouTube, I just wanted to remind you to hit the red subscribe button. It really helps us out and encourages us to keep making video courses like this. So hit the like button and hit the red subscribe button. Thanks. Now you're probably pretty familiar with the Tyler Live interface at this point, but you'll notice that there's a big old social media folder here full of different templates that we can use. And you can kind of see them here. Uh, a lot of great ones. Let's, let's, let's pick a couple of them here. Now what we're going to do is once we have these social media templates is we're going to select a data source and the source is going to be social. And the cool thing is, is that you can see on the bottom right here, you can log into Facebook Live, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and I don't even know what this one is down here. I, I guess maybe that's all. Um, and you could start pulling in social media comments. So this is a post from November 4th. And when I hit the play button, it actually goes ahead and plays it. So we've got a couple different options for social media um, templates here. So a lot of really cool ones. There are some that are just poll questions. So for example, with this one, you probably wouldn't automatically send information here. This is a really good one for you know, polling your viewers on, you know, would you like this, this, or this? But um, you can actually um, take some of these and pull information directly from social media. So here's one here. This is my profile picture from Facebook. It says, we caught a fish on August 17th. Shows you how many people commented, how many people liked, and it gives you the image. So this is one way to, I've logged into my Facebook account, as you can see here, and I've input the information directly into, into here. And you can actually kind of like search for tweets so that you're finding the right ones, for example. But the great thing is, is that they fit directly into here. So let's choose this one. This is a really cool one. I mean, if I was a a food blogger, this would be so perfect. If you posted something on Facebook, um, we go ahead and select the data source, social, go ahead and do Facebook posts, and boom, now it's got all of my information in there. Now, one of these pieces of information I can see, that San Diego, California, you know, you could customize that to, let's see where I am from, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, boom. And it would change. But, you know, basically what, what New Blue Effects has done here with their Tidler Live is they've given you some really great options for easily putting titles in here, dropping them in, and populating them using the data source option with social media comments. And again, you could log into Facebook, to Twitter, to YouTube. I just did Facebook since it's so easy. But yeah, it's really, really powerful. You can see I just just kind of added the information to this one. Boom, lots of different ways, whether you want to do it in a lower third or if you'd like to do it in kind of like a full screen option and, or you know some of these really kind of fancy looking um, overlays that, that could be integrated directly into your social media comments. So pretty cool stuff really powerful if you want to get that engagement going. If you're live streaming and someone has a really timely comment or you're asking your audience to engage with you, you can show their pictures, show their comment, show how many likes. And also if you're using it you know, as a creator and you want to share some of the posts that you've created and some of the engagement that you've seen, this is a great way to incorporate it into your videos. And keep in mind, it doesn't have to be live streamed, right? These could, you could be doing this in post production you could be sent like uh, playing a video clip and bringing these directly into post as well so a lot of great options for bringing social media comments into your live productions